Well, hello everybody. Happy New Year's Eve. Uh, it's Sunday morning. Yeah, it's still morning. Uh, we'll be going over later to one of the kids' house to celebrate New Year's Eve. But right now, it's not in here. Right now, I just finished the 2023 sketchbook and closing out the year. It's in the other room. I forgot to put it in there already. And uh, yeah, let's hope for a, a good 2024. I do need to make another storage box for 2023. I've been meaning to for a while, but the journals are done. And yeah, it's all good. I'm gonna go downstairs now and have some water and do some crocheting. And we're gonna just, I think, chill and relax. Mister's gonna try to watch football and yeah, before we go over for the festivities tonight at the kids' house. So anyway, I'm still full from last night, but that pasta was really good. Uh, yeah, anyway, I think that's it for the minute. My brain feels like it's asleep, but you know, post-vid symptoms. That's what I'm blaming it on. Anyway, accurate or not, I'll be back. Hey guys, it is... A few minutes after midnight, 1-1-2024. One, one, quarter after. Six quarter after. after. Happy New Year. Yep. We are headed home now. We're tired. And I think we left with more food than we came with. Mm, the presents, yeah. More, yeah, anyway. That's a tomorrow's problem. Right now, we need to go home. I'll be back. We'll go. Hey, guys. Good morning. It's Wednesday, January 3rd. I don't think I filmed anything yesterday. I was busy working on the Italy journals for my sister and dad and babysitting. I didn't get anything else done yesterday. I was lucky in between naps and stuff to get, um, you know, dishes done and throw some laundry in and stuff like that. I got a little bit more work done on the black, white, and gray Afghan. It's almost done. And of course I have two probably two more <laughs> in the works um and you know more projects lined up of course i've always got lots of projects like up here they're always anyway right now we're gonna go pick up an order i placed with joanne's and i need to stop by dollar tree and i need to go by the bank so i'm gonna just run a bunch of errands and then we're gonna come back today and um do some more work on the italy journals and uh, yeah, I think that's the plan for today. Anyway, I'll be back. Hey guys. All right. So I've been home for a while. It's evening almost. Um, I've been working on the Italy journals and you know what? I got them done. Elizabeth, don't watch this. <laughs> um, anyway, they are finished. They are bagged up and ready to be gifted. The point of doing these is to tell a story about the event or the trip or something and I try to, when I go somewhere, bring an envelope, and generally it's one that looks like this. I get these from Amazon. And I start out planning my bag and my trip by grabbing one of these and printing the itinerary if we have one, plane tickets, hotel stay, all that stuff, putting it in here. Add a handful of paper clips and a pad of sticky notes and a black pen. Um, every day, gather up all your little receipts and bus tickets and the little brochure from the hotel that you're staying at, your luggage tags, paper clip them all together, stick a stick and sticky note on it, write the date on it, put it in the envelope. Um, I don't anymore try to do the journal while I'm gone because there's just no point too much is going on and I want to focus on the trip and my friends and family um, I will bring usually a small sketchbook and do a few small sketches in it that may or may not stay in the book usually I will tear them out or if I want to keep them in the book I'll co color copy them and put them in the travel journal when I'm done when I get back um, I will also save you know coffee cup labels if there's a cute saying on it or a fortune cookie fortune or you know you get the idea um i'll link a video down below to um 
me making a travel journal because I do think there's a video on my um, channel. I also have a very small art travel bag um, that I bring with me, a minimalist travel bag, and I'll see if I can find that and link it too. If you want a full tutorial on doing one of these, um, I guess I can do that, um, but there's a lot of junk journaling videos out there, and really it's just a junk journal, but it's about one particular event and telling a story about that event. Does that make sense? Anyway, I'm going to go sit down for a minute and have some water. I'll be back. You guys, this is the first time since we caught the vid at Thanksgiving that I think my table's been this clean and the ironing board. But, you know, now I have to catch up on projects. And what used to be my drying rack has become projects and waiting. <laughs> it's so... Yeah, that's a thing. Anyway. We're going to go grocery shopping tonight because the next couple days are kind of busy-ish. So I'm going to sit and relax for a little bit till Mr. gets off of work and then we'll go do that. So I'll be back. I don't know why when we're in the truck I bother to turn the light on. It doesn't help. It doesn't uh, help. Not too much. It's only like 5 o'clock-ish, 5.30, something like that. And it's pitch black out, but, you know, welcome to the Pacific Northwest. Because it, uh, it's sunset was at 4.40 today. Yeah. So anyway... Um, yes, we're in the car and, um, we're going to go do our grocery shopping Wednesday night or Thursday night if he doesn't have Masonic Lodge. That seems to be what we like to do and not have to do it over the weekend. Um, so we're going to go do that and pick up a few things. And I commented to Mr. that this is the first time in well, ever, in <laughs> it ever. seems like, um, at least since before Thanksgiving, that I have had anything close to a normal amount of energy. And I did all the work on the two um, journals today and I got all of that done. And believe me, it was a lot of work. And I, I promised to film something at some point and I will do that. Um, in fact, I have an idea because we have a future thing coming up and I might... Um, film a process while we're doing anyway it's a long story it's a long um time. but i feel i feel close to normal which is amazing um we'll see if it sticks hopefully, hopefully it sticks anyway we're gonna go get some errands done and pick up some groceries and uh yeah we'll see where we are after that tomorrow is babysitting day so junior's coming over and i was thinking when he left i was gonna have to keep working on the journals i don't have to now Done. It's done, so I can work on some crocheting projects and things that I want to do. So, yep. yay! All right, that's it. I'll be back. Okay, Junior went home um, before he got here. I got all the scanning of crochet patterns done that I wanted to get done today that I did not think would get done this morning, um, but it did. And I got them printed, and we're gonna go upstairs and put them in my binders. And Bob is off to his meeting, so it's all good. After that, we're gonna work on the mushroom bag because I've got to start putting those granny squares together. I'll be back. Hey guys, I think I forgot to vlog this morning. It is 4.20 p.m. Friday, January 5th. I don't think I vlogged much the day before yesterday either, but I was babysitting. Uh, anyway. It's been um, another good productive day. I finished my mushroom bag. Um, I did put a lining in it and um, it's all done. It's still a little bit damp, but she is done and cute. I used one of uh, Mr.'s old t-shirts to create the lining. And then I did a herringbone stitch type of deal by hand to sew the lining to the bag. Um, that way it wouldn't show because I didn't really want it to show too much. But yeah, pretty happy with that. And uh, yeah, I've just been working on that all day and puttering around the house, doing laundry, dishes. Kids are coming over in a little bit for dinner, which means I've got to order some pizza because we're just ordering it today. We're not making anything or anything like that. Um, counseling this morning went pretty good. It's always good to have somebody who's a neutral third party to discuss things with because yeah helps you clear the mind a bit doesn't it uh it's so nice 
anyway, um, I think tomorrow Mr. and I might go antiquing and thrifting. We're looking for a couple of things and we'll kind of see what happens. Uh, Sunday, the furnace people are coming to do their annual checkup on the furnace and replace filters and stuff like that. Um, otherwise, I think it's going to be a quiet weekend. Next weekend's going to be busy. It's my dad's birthday. Bob's going to California for an event with a friend. It's going to be busy, 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 busy. So, but that's for the next vlog. So anyway. <sighs> All right, I think that's it for the minute. I'll be back. I did think of one more thing. So if y'all haven't heard of Juan the Yarn Addict, where have you been? Anyway, he recently did a beanie tutorial that was out of pink yarn, his least favorite color, although he's learning to like it a bit more, I think. I got one shade of pink and a shade of a tan sandy color, and I am going to make the beanie from his tutorial. I think that's gonna be my next project. Um, I also cleaned out my pattern binder that is in my bag that I carry around with me and changed out a few things and um, so we're ready to go. I think my next project will be the beanie and then I'm going to try making another cardigan. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully it's not too big. I'm going to try a different pattern one somebody else wrote so ugh, I might even do a gauge swatch. <sighs> we'll see. I'll be back. Hey guys, I would say good morning, but it's already after lunch. We had a late start this morning. Um, we are going to head back out again. We've already been out once this morning. I, for 30 bucks, bought an antique secretary desk on Facebook Marketplace. It needs some TLC. It's been stored in a warehouse. I think at one point it had a top, which isn't here anymore, which is okay, because I don't need that. We're gonna take all these things off. Um, the inside, actually looks like it's in pretty good condition. Uh, I know you can't really see that. There you go. Everything seems to be pretty intact. Um, the drawers all need a little TLC. They're a little loose. The fronts are a little loose from the bases. And there's a little few chips of veneer, which I'm not too worried about that. Um, but I do need the drawers to be sturdy. So we're gonna have to take each drawer out and glue and nail it back together replace any little pieces of missing wood, that sort of thing. But Mr. is gonna help me with that. There's a little ding here in the back. But overall, I'm pretty happy with it for 30 bucks. It's a good deal. And it'll be great in the painting corner upstairs. Um, it's not too wide, it's not too big. It'll be perfect. Plus all the drawers can be used for storage. Yeah, looking forward to it. All right. I'll be back. Man, it's cold out here. We're headed out to the garage. And yes, for those that don't know, it's my husband's Barracuda. He's a car guy. Anyway, so we got the new um, antique secretary desk home and we've already taken it apart. <laughs> um, the guts are out <laughs> of the desk. The back is off. And, you know, it's gonna be in the art room. So it's just, let's just, you know, make it so it's, you know, the drawers are stable. It, the whole thing is, is pretty sturdy. It's, I mean, you know, for the fact that it doesn't have a back on it, it's doing pretty well. Um, and Bob's like, no. <laughs> I 
So he's gonna actually fix it up for me pretty, you know, as best as he can get it. We'll probably have to new, put a new back piece on it. Um, but the inside, so I kind of lift it up one hand. It did come out in one piece. Look at this, you guys. This is the part that goes inside the desk. And these columns, they're secret pockets. I think originally it was supposed to have a glass top on it. That's long gone. It was used as a prop at an event venue. Um, it was used and abused. But actually, considering how old it is and the fact that it was used and abused, it's not that bad a condition. The drawers need some re-gluing and repair. They were fixed a few times over the years, but not necessarily very properly. So Bob's already... Um, glued and clamped a couple of things and he'll keep working on that and yeah it's gonna be pretty cool i can't wait to get it upstairs it's gonna be very nice um so that was a great part of the day i also finished the beanie inspired by juan the crochet addict and um if you haven't seen his channel i'll link it below along with the video um from the beanie that i made he did one playing with pink yarns and I used a blush pink and oatmeal. I'm not into the neon pink. That was as close as I could get. So Juan, you're braver than I am. Anyway, it turned out pretty cute. It's very nice, but I sat and watched the video and wrote all the steps down in my notebook. Um, and um, cause I prefer to work that way than from video. Anyway, um, it turned out really well. Then of course I started a new Afghan. <laughs> Anyway, we got all the boxes for the Christmas decorations downstairs from the attic. So tomorrow, uh, I think we're going to focus on getting the Christmas put away because it's time. Anyway, it's been a fun week. Um, we're glad to be mostly feeling better. I was still have a few symptoms, but for the most part, it's pretty good. And um, starting to get back to normal and get things done and all the things and can't say I'm mad about it. We went out thrifting today. We didn't buy anything for ourselves, but we found some things for a uh, daughter and I hope she likes them and it's all good, yeah. So anyway, I, oh, and I also, of course I did, cut myself a couple times taking the desk apart. <laughs> yes, I washed it out and cleaned it. Yes, I've had my tetanus shot. <laughs> anyway, um, I think that's it for the minute. I can't think of anything else. Um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff to do or be done. Uh, my dad's birthday party is this time next weekend. And I am driving up with Rebecca, Polyus, and the baby. Bob is going to be in California. And another commitment that we have with a friend. I can't be in two places at once. And neither can he. So we kind of split. <laughs> we split it up. He's going to go to one. I'm going to go to the other. And so, yeah. Um, but that's for next week's vlog. Anyway, this week's been good. I hope you guys have had a good week. I hear, I'm hearing more and more friends coming down with a vid and y'all try to stay healthy, stay hydrated, all the things, um, try to not get sick, but you know, I even got it. So I don't know what to tell you. We're going to go back to starting to walk this week. We haven't been that since we got sick. We haven't been doing that. I'm, we both miss it, so that's a thing. Anyway, stay healthy, stay happy. Check out the video description for relevant links. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you want to support the free content, it's like two bucks a month, go and join my Patreon. I post free patterns over there. They have their own private YouTube channel with so many videos. I don't know how you'd get through them all. Um, along with monthly posts from me, we have a new live chat thing over there with me and you guys. Um, and I have written out the Afghan pattern that I use most of the time and given that to them. So if you, it's a crochet pattern. So if you uh, wanna do any of that stuff, go join my Patreon. Um, I'd appreciate it. I also have art, no. <laughs> I have, yes, art. I have stamp designs with both Rubber Moon and Art Foamies. They're both USA-based companies. They're both small mom and pops. I sure would appreciate, even if you don't buy my designs, go support their businesses and um, go over there and go shopping. There's some great stuff over there. I'll link them down below. And yeah, go out, have a great day.
do something nice. That was fireworks or something. At least I hope that's what that was. <laughs> um, go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Stay safe, stay healthy, be happy, and I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.